you could see the way it's ticking one after the other right so this is a simple yes so this is a simple example i should make them listen to this right <laughs> i don't know <laughs> I yeah. would definitely choose an automatic watch over any other form of watch. I, I love the way it ticks, the way it moves. Please. Smash the subscribe button. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm with my colleague, friend, brother, sensei, <laughs> Enoch. <laughs> Hi guys. Yo, yo, yo. So guys, Enoch is so 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 like so super into watches man yeah. so today we're going to discuss i overstressed it yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm not cutting this i'm just going let's flow all right so today we're going to discuss about watches man the movement <laughs> and um so kind of insider step or fan step into um watches mm -hmm. that makes sense yeah yeah i think so. i know you understand me <laughs> <laughs> so let's go um you know um like when did you when did you um start becoming interested in watches um i've always been interested in watches from when i was a kid my my dad has always been into watches all those oh. old school watches so it's like a family bloodline thing oh uh, yeah yeah i guess <laughs> that's cool that's good that's good so um is there any interesting facts about watches that you feel us men don't know <laughs> uh i think people should focus essentially on I mean, when you want to get a watch, you should be thinking about what's the movement of the watch, right? The brands are also important. Like if you see a Rolex and the Omega, Jacob's Cool, Frank Muller, whatever the case is. But it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so these are brands of, of watches. But at the same time, there are, there are good brands out there, you know, like um, micro brands, like brands that are not well known of, yeah. there, but that are doing well. Um, so what i'm really talking about here is the movement of the watches right so when you say movement do you mean clockwise <laughs> <laughs> oh she's kind of walk clockwise okay. when we talk about movement we're talking about how the watch works what makes the watch tick right oh, so, oh, oh. yeah so that's what we mean by movement and basically there are three um major types of movement when you talk about movement and watches and yeah you have what we call the quads um the quads are basically battery powered wrist watches you know you see those watches that tick 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 right um so those are quartz watches and okay. it's developed by cq um a, a while ago um so cq make their mix their own watches as well like cq made the first or like every quartz they watch. developed they developed the what they call it the patent the the quartz movement before okay before cq um started making watches we used to have the mechanical watches essentially which are the what the watches that you you wind oh. manually right mm -hmm. so those old are uh, papa's wrist watches that you know you see them before they wear it they wind it on something and they use it yeah i've seen so those. so those were the kind of watches that we have that we used to have for secure media watches and that's the second kind of movement uh, which is the mechanical wrist watches okay so you right. said quads you said mechanical yes so mechanical essentially like i said earlier is that you have to manually wind yeah. the watch to actually use the watch um and we have the third one which is also it moves in the mechanical um, movement it has the mechanical movement but it doesn't require you to um always have to wind it right so they are called automatic wrist watches and that's the top of the line <laughs> wrist watches right because um all they work how they work is that they use your pulse so once you wear the watch okay. right and you go about your your daily um, business and everything you don't need to to wind the watches right so okay. it sounds confusing but okay <laughs> <laughs> so they they basically um when you wear the watch every movement you make um you, you, we have all these um, feet beats and yeah, 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 that yeah, no, yeah. actually watches your pulses and the rest. So the mechanical, um, the automatic watch is basically relying on things like that. I used to have one Bentley um, way back in the days. Um, so yeah, it was clearly written on the Bentley wrist, Bentley wrist watch that um, it, it uses pulses. So your pulses, your movement and everything, that basically. And once you've worn a watch, um, an automatic watch okay. for a while, right and uh, you can leave it for about 48 hours before you need to wear it again yes wear it again but for most mechanical watches you need to constantly wind 
the watch. So just to be clear, only quartz needs battery. The rest don't need batteries. No, the rest don't need batteries. Okay, that's, need. that's interesting. I yes, never knew. <laughs> but you need to regularly take out time to wind your mechanical watch. Then for your automatic watch, you need to constantly wear them within 48 hours. And, um, and if it exceeds that period when you're supposed to wear the watch, you probably just have to reset it before you use it. So I don't know if you've seen those kind of situations where people pick up their watches they set it um, on a regular basis before they wear it and that's basically because they don't um, what's it today you no know, that's because <laughs> they've not been wearing it for a while so it's uh, it, 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 it stopped so you need to wind it or you need to put it on and reset it and work well, well, that, yeah, that's so that's cool. the three th- those are the three um, so which of these do you prefer automatic obviously <laughs> 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 yes like like i said it's top of the line um watches i'm not saying um Quartz is bad, right? I mean, you have good wristwatches, great brands out there, great designs, and um, you have great brands making good quartz watches. Yeah. But personally, I, I prefer automatic wristwatches. It's just a thing. Like, um, I think you should record one of the mac- uh, mechanical watch sounds later. Okay. You would, you would hear how it ticks. So they basically tick basically the same way, right? So, yes, quartz, um, um, I said quartz, automatic, automatic watches all the time and uh, the beauty you have about quartz so let so i'm not down tuning how quartz uh, okay, okay. Quartz watches out there they are the most accurate watches out there based on they don't stop yes they don't stop they required um the least maintenance because all you need to just do with a quartz watch is to change battery. the battery essentially yes exactly um, but when you're talking about passing a watch from generation to generation right you're talking basically about an automatic watch or your mechanics, right? Yeah. That's what you can do with uh, mechanical watches and um, automatic watches, right? And like I said, automatic watches are basically top of the line of watches. So best, I would definitely choose an automatic watch over any other form of watch. I, I love the way it ticks, the way it moves. I love it. Like I I have a background of engineering, right? Before I moved into business in my <laughs> So I've always been fascinated about things mechanical. It's not yeah, like okay. a quartz watch is not mechanical, but like we have a mechanical watch over a quartz watch, so definitely I, I, I would choose a mechanical watch. Exactly. It's, it's, <laughs> it's fascinating. <laughs> you hear the sound very soon. So do you have any example of um, any of these watches? Let's just see how it looks like. Sure. Um, yeah, I, I, I think I have. And is there an obvious difference between the watches? When it's like, can you just see a watch and not like, you that's automatic, you that's um, quartz? We have to always check whether it has a battery or not, or mm. check whether it has those all those rotors and all that inside. So a quartz a quartz watch is pretty much evident in in terms of the movement because we're talking about the movement, right? Yeah. So a quartz watch is very easy to tell. It ticks like one, two, like oh, second, second by second, right? That's how yeah. a quartz watch works. Um, I'll, I'll I'll give you a simple example. This is one of my um, it's a Polo Club watch by Polo Ralph, right? Beverly Hills. I don't know if you can see it. You could see the way it's ticking one after the other, right? So this is a simple, yes. So this is a simple example of a of a quartz watch, and that's how quartz watch works. Um, so this is a quartz watch, right? Um, I have, sorry, I have yeah. um, a mechanical watch here. Um, I was playing with this watch a long while ago. It's, um, it's a micro brand, um, but they designed their watches like um, tag, the tag hire watches. So um, it's a micro brand, but since it wasn't like like tag, like tag, I, I played a lot with it. Um, this is the I broke this, the glass inside. You could see how it's ticking inside, and everything. And this is automatic. No, this is a mechanical. Oh, watch. mechanical. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, because this one requires winding. You can see how it's moving. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so this is a mechanical watch and listen to that listen to that fascinating hey, chill, chill. let me see whether i can actually make them listen to this right to do. i don't know <laughs> yeah I, probably <laughs> i love i love i love the ticking sound okay this I is love dope. The ticking sound so it's a micro brand um it's one of those micro brands out there and um it's it's a mechanical watch so you could see the way it's moving now the fascinating thing about automatic wristwatches is this is a Kenneth Cole watch I don't know it's a skeleton um, Kenneth Cole watch when we say skeleton you can see the inside and oh. from the back you can also see 
the inside, right? So that's what we mean by skeleton watches, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is a Kinetco watch. This is an automatic watch. The fascinating thing about all um, automatic watches is that they always write it on the watch. So if they don't even write it on the watch, they will write it on the on the pack on the package, the manufacturer's package of the okay. watch. It's always there, automatic. So this can stay a lifetime now. Yes. It is. And talk to your paws. Yes, essentially. Nice. It works it works with my paws, right? So I, I just need to use it on a regular basis. Um, and if I don't use it for a while, it will stop working, then I just have to reset the time and I use the watch. So yes, this is um, an automatic watch. So basically these are the differences in, in, in the watches. So the mechanical watch and automatic watches, they work basically the same way. The only difference is that for automatic watches, they always indicate it's that it's an automatic watch, right? But for mechanical watches, it's just, I mean, it's just a mechanical watch. Well, yeah. that's so dope. Yes. So guys, um, if you're interested in any of these movements, um, it's okay to it's just good for you to know um the movements of the watches don't necessarily focus on the name of the brand right the yeah. brands are good right but there are a lot of micro brands out there um uh, the last i checked uh, most of this we have uh, companies making the same engine right so we have micro brands you have big brands and all these other brands that are buying basically from um the same manufacturers making the engine right okay then you now have this brand building that watch around the engine right so it's basically it's basically the same engine in the watches but because a brand like a rolex is you know making Omega. a watch around it so they put the price of the brand so you end up buying a an automatic watch for as much as um ten thousand uh, dollars and, and more but if you can get from a micro brand or from all the other smaller brands basically you get the same thing and you pay a lot a lot less yes, exactly um I'm, i will introduce you guys maybe maybe if we get the opportunity um to talk more um i'll introduce okay. you guys to some sort of um shops i use online um you could shop basically from the us you get good brands right and oh nice yes you affordable. Get affordable and great brands and 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 all that Oh, that would, that would be great. Would yeah, be great. For if, if they're interested. I, I think we need to go and get a watch. Like, I, I need a watch, man. Like, I've been watching this for quite some time now. But like, <laughs> no, everybody has a phone now. So, like, what's the time? Oh, my phone. Yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, yes. I'm talk, talking about that. That's that's the fascinating thing about watches now, right? So, watch is no longer really, um, really about telling time. Okay. That's the simple truth. I mean, you could just buy one of those cheap, smart, what they call them, smart watches out there. 10,000 naira or something, you get yeah. a good smart watch and it tells you the time. But besides that, I mean, we've gone past that time, right? That era. We're in an era now where if you want to know what the time is, you use your smartphone, right? So, watches are really around what fascinates you and what brands you are more aligned with. Okay. Yes, basically, right? So, for, for someone like me, I like what fascinates me is um, what they call the mechanical automatic watches. I'm not really yeah. into quartz watch, but I get them because they're nice. I get some brands that, you know, but my point is watches really are, are just really about um, what you like, right? What fascinates you. It's not really about what I was the time. Please tell me what the time is. <laughs> We've gone past that, that, that age. I mean, if you really want to know what the time is, most of us are trying smart devices around that you can always tell what the time is. So the yeah. The time is... <laughs> I'll introduce you to some interesting Yeah guys, don't worry, there's a waste time man. So there'll be mm, What do you call this, what do you call this There'll be another episode really? <laughs> Of this whole watch now. segment <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Because seriously, I find it interesting man. Because before now, I didn't see watches um, More than just a device for telling time And all that But knowing now, knowing now that there's um, Different movements, different Other, oh, rich, rich, let me say rich, rich <laughs> How about watches? I swear, I'm really fascinated about the old team, man. Um, but before the end of this video, I know you gave me one of these watches, but um, okay, to behind the scene, sure, behind the scene, behind the scene, guys, yeah, it's my it's my vlog. <laughs> it's my vlog. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, you know, because then that's are we signing out? Are you signing out with any words of advice like you'll get a watch? <laughs> words of advice, I. I it's just really first of all, thank you guys for having me. It's, it's I've seen a lot of. Um, I seen all videos you do. I'm like, oh, cool. You're doing good, good stuff there. 
And I'm um, talking about watches. I mean, get a brand that you identify with, right? Get a movement that you identify with. For me, I love all, all movements, right? That's why you can see me with quartz watches, with um, mechanical watches and, and, and automatic watches. I love all movements. So just explore. I, don't, I won't explore. tell you, yes, I won't tell you stick to one brand or stick to one movement or something. <laughs> what is it to me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, so just explore, like check, um, get leather watches, get chain watches, get um, strap watches, whatever it is. Just explore and I mean, if you don't like the watch, trade it, get something else and just explore. I mean, watches are lovely. So just try it all. Um, I want to ask a question now, but I don't know whether I'll conclude this video already because all no, like, no, no, you no, said leather, quest, um, leather watches, um, chain watches and all that. Yeah. Which do you prefer? I don't have a preference because it depends on what I am wearing, right? Oh. So if I'm wearing a jean or something, I, I check the watches I have. I check uh, if it's a rubber um, strap or something, if it's um, the khaki strap, so to speak, if it's a chain strap, even the chain have variants as well. You know, we have the mesh chains and we'll get in the, to that. <laughs> but yes, it, it, it all depends on what I'm wearing. So we have sport watches. Most of sport watches come in rubber straps. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's, it really depends on what I'm, what I'm wearing, where I'm going. Like if I'm going, I'll show you some of, some of my other watches sometime later. Right? Yeah. When we, when we do that. <laughs> I'll show you some of my other watches. So if I'm dressing formal, like I like say dress watch, right? Uh, if I'm going for an executive meeting, you know, if I'm going for a business meeting, that's the kind of watch I wear. If I'm going, if I'm hanging out in the house, for example, this is just something simple I wear. Or I can wear one of the, the tag um, um, watch, the, the watch that looks like a tag, right? So it depends on on what, what I'm wearing or where I'm going to. So I don't really have a preference. Like I said, explore. Have it all. Explore. Have as many as you can. And I mean, depends on where you're going. Depends on what you're wearing. Thank yes. you. Sensei. So I call him Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think that I think that, that should be all for now. It's getting too long. So guys, watch out for episode two. In the meantime, subscribe, like, share, and comment. Please smash the subscribe button. Smash it. Smash, smash it. it. <laughs> Thanks, Enoch. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Next Thanks time, guys, there'll be a part two.